okay so you can create a windows bootable usb using the uh, media creation tool i will leave the uh, download links in the description of this video so it is pretty easy and straightforward you can shut down your pc and uh, boot it using your uh, windows bootable usb so after booting uh, using your uh, windows uh, installation medium you will get the screen on startup and at this point press shift f10 so this will open a command window here uh, type disk part and then list disk so this will uh, give you a list of all the disk uh, which is connected to your uh, pc right now so some systems might have uh, two or three uh, hard disks uh, say desktops will have uh, two or three hard disks and uh, some laptops even have uh, two hard disks so it uh, depends upon your system and uh, usually uh, disk zero will be the uh, win uh, the disk that contains the windows installation so right now uh, i have a uh, disk zero which is, and disk one this disk zero contains my windows installation and uh, disk one is the uh, windows bootable usb so select the disk that has your uh, windows installation so in my case it is disk zero and after this type list part So this will list. Uh, this will uh, create a list of all the partitions. Now you need to select the EFI partition. In most of the cases, uh, partition two will be the EFI partition. You can easily recognize it by its size. Uh, EFI partition will be usually a hundred megabytes big. Select partition two. select part 2 so in your case it could be some other uh, EFI partition could be with some other number so choose accordingly and then now type assign what this will do is this uh, EFI partition by default doesn't have any letter assigned to it and uh, this usually does not even appear uh, in your my computer so right now by this assign command what we are uh, doing is we are assigning it a uh, letter just like your uh, c d or f and all those kind of letters we are assigning the uh, efi partition a letter after you get this uh, successful message type list wall So you have the asterisk mark against H. So that is your uh, EFI partition. Since we selected a uh, part two, uh, the asterisk mark uh, denotes the active partition. So right now uh, the EFI partition has been assigned a letter H. So now you need to open another uh, command prompt window again press shift f10 so this will open a second command prompt window here type robo copy space so whatever uh, letter that is assigned here for the efi partition in my case it is h in your case it could be anything type the letter followed by colon EFI space C colon backslash EFI dot BAK space forward slash MIR 
so what we are basically doing is we are uh, creating a backup for this EFI partition within your uh, C partition now press enter so after uh, this is done go back to the uh, disk part uh, command prompt type select part 1 and again the partition number will vary so so again I repeat in my case recovery is the uh, partition number 1 in your case it could be different so choose accordingly After selecting the recovery partition, choose type delete part override. Now type select part 2 you are uh, selecting the EFI partition now and again delete so when you are following this guide please do not uh, blindly use the same numbers what I have used I repeat again you choose your partition numbers according to your system my system and your system may not have the same partition numbers so if you just blindly for type in whatever I do you could uh, lose all your uh, files and folders so be careful make sure that you are aware of what you are doing And after this type create part EFI space size equal to 200 press enter and then format quick fs is equal to fat32 space label equal to efi And now again type assign type list volume so now you can see that uh, the EFI partition has been assigned a label I previously it was H and now it has been assigned a label I and uh, if I just quickly scroll up you can see that the recovery has been deleted the EFI partition has been deleted and uh, you have a new partition for uh, EFI created over here now switch back to the uh, other command prompt window and type robocopy space C colon forward backslash EFI dot BAK space the uh, letter of your uh, newly created EFI partition colon backslash 
EFI space forward slash MIR. So these are very uh, critical steps and so you always need to double check what you are doing. And now press enter. After this is done, you can exit. Now exit. Exit. So now you can uh, quit the Windows installer, reboot, just to make sure that uh, you are able to boot back into your uh, Windows.